Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Burley, Chief Educator at the Norman Rockwell Museum. And I'm here today with my friend Florence, the chick, and also my friend Stephanie Plunkett, who is the Deputy Director and Chief Curator at the Norman Rockwell Museum. Today, we're going to talk about the painting Shuffleton's Barbershop, which Norman Rockwell completed in 1950. Our theme this week is animals, and we'd especially like you to look at the cat in Shuffleton's Barbershop. The cat is attentive and part of the scene, and we think, we know the cat is there for a reason. We wonder, as you start to look at this picture, if there are animals in your community who are part of the fabric of the community. When you go outside for a walk, is there an animal that you see, and how does that change your day? Um, and so with that, Stephanie, can you share some of the things that you notice in this painting? Thank you, Mary. Speaking of animals, can you find the cat in this picture? And what do you think he is doing? What details tell us that this is actually a barber shop? If you look around the room, do you think the shop is open or is it closed? And how do you know? Even though it's an indoor scene, can you tell what time of year it is and what the weather might actually be like outside? The glowing stove and boots around it might actually give you a hint. Norman Rackwell painted the scene of his hometown barbershop while living in Arlington, Vermont. He posed the shop's owner, Rob Sheffleton, as the fiddler in the back room. Sheffleton was an avid fisherman. That means he loved to fish. And Rockwell provides clues to this fact with the inclusion of his fishing gear in the painting. Can you find it? Interestingly, the curious cat is the only person in the picture other than the musicians playing in the back room. Rockwell's greatest challenge in this piece was creating the window through which we get to view the scene. He places us outside on the street where we can look into the barber shop and imagine the sounds from within. What kind of music do you think they might be playing? And what kind of music do you like to listen to? What details give the illusion of looking through a glass window? We'd love to hear your thoughts on that. There's some fun facts about this piece and Mary, I wonder if you would share what they are. So there's a couple of fun facts about this image. One is that Rockwell and his three sons all had their hair cut at Shuffleton's Barbershop. And you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner of the image, there is a magazine rack. And on that rack, there were comic books. And Rockwell's son, Peter, loved reading those comic books. And he actually was not very happy when it was his turn to have a haircut and his, uh, his story was interrupted. Another fun fact is that Norman Rockwell spent the last 25 years of his life in the town of Stockbridge, Massachusetts, and he lived just a few doors down and across the street from an old hotel, which still exists today, and uh, is called the Red Line Inn. Um, the front lobby of the Red Line Inn uh, has a cat who lives there and greets visitors, uh, often sitting by the fireplace. And that cat's name is Norman. So we thought you might enjoy knowing about that. In terms of things to do, inspired by this image, we're thinking that it might be fun for you to draw a animal who is part of your community, who makes up the fabric of your life. Is that animal a um, furry animal? Does it have smooth skin? Is it a bird? Is it a lizard? Is it a cat or a dog or something else? Um, we'd love for you to share your, your drawing or your painting at learn at nrm.org. Oops. And Florence, just let us know what she thinks about this whole thing. Um, so Florence and I say, hope you have a great day, <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>